हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज कॉन्वोल्यूशन थियोरम फॉर फाइंडिंग इनवर्स लैपलास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर कॉन्वोल्यूशन ऑफ टू फंक्शन फाइव वन एस एंड फाइव टू एस इज गिवन बाय फाइव वन एस इन टू फाइव टू एफ एस नाउ लेट एस सी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस थियोरम दिस थियोरम स्टेट दैट If inverse Laplace transform of phi 1s is f of t, and inverse Laplace transform of phi 2 of s is g of t, then inverse Laplace transform of convolution of phi 1 and phi 2, that is phi 1s into phi 2 of s, is given by the integral f of s into g of t minus s ds over the limit 0 to t. This f of s is computed from f of t. And g of t minus s is computed from g of t. Now let me show you one example in which we are going to see use of convolution theorem for finding inverse Laplace transform. In this example, we are asked to find out inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square into s minus three. So we first of all let phi one s as one upon s square. And phi two of s as one upon s minus three. Clearly, phi one s into phi two of s, that is convolution of phi one and phi two of s, is one upon s square into s minus three. Now we'll find out corresponding inverse Laplace transform transforms for phi one and phi two. Here, inverse Laplace transform of phi one of s is t. We let it as f of t, and inverse Laplace transform of phi two of s is e raised to three t. We let it as g of t. From this f of t, we can calculate f of s. For that, you need to simply replace every t by s. So f of s becomes s. Similarly, from g of t, you can calculate g of t minus s. For that, you have to replace every t in g of t by t minus s. So g of t minus s becomes e raised to three into t minus s. Now. We apply convolution theorem according to which l inverse of phi one of s into phi two of s is integral of f of s into g of t minus s ds over the limit zero to t. As I I have already told you what is f of s and g of t minus s, we will substitute them over here. So it is integral from zero to t of s into e raised to three into t minus s ds. We can simplify this integrand and further evaluate the integral. Expanding this exponential term, we will have e raised to 3t into e raised to minus 3s. Now we continue this solution on my next slide. Carry forwarding the last step, we have l inverse of phi 1s into phi 2 of s is equal to integration of s into e raised to 3t. Into e raised to minus 3s ds over the limit 0 to t. Since integration is with respect to s, e raised to 3t is constant. You can take it out outside of the integral. So inside we have integral of s into e raised to minus 3s. Using integration by parts rule, we can evaluate that integral. So outside we have e raised to 3t, and by integration by parts rule, inside we have s that is u. Into integration of v, that is e raised to minus 3s upon minus 3, minus integration of integration of v, that is again e raised to minus 3s upon minus 3, into derivative of s, which is 1. Now we substitute limits in s. When I put t in s, we have t into e raised to minus 3 t upon minus 3, and when we put 0 in this s, we have Zero into anything becomes zero. So this is what we get when we substitute limits in this integral. Now let us evaluate this integral. Integration of e raised to minus three s upon minus three with respect to s is e raised to minus three s upon nine over the limit zero to t. After substituting these limits in s, we have e raised to minus three t minus e raised to zero. That is one upon nine. This is inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square into s minus three. I hope you understood how to use convolution theorem for finding inverse Laplace transform.
थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर सच इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स वीडियोज प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू हैव अपडेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट माई वीडियोज़